Welcome back to the Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm Connor Williams and this is the uh, reaction to the news that James Garner has joined Everton um, from Manchester United. He was on loan to Nottingham Forest last season though um, and from what I can gather played more games for Nottingham Forest as well. I think I saw a United fan say he's probably only played a couple of appearances for Manchester United but that is his parent club so that is who the money will go to. Personal terms, uh, I've been agreeing and all that. So, yeah, um, we're becoming a bit sentiment heavy, aren't we? I, I can't really, other than the fact he's, he's quite young um, and that he's more of a deep lying playmaker. Uh, I'm sort of like, I didn't watch a lot of him in the championship last season. Um, I know he's good at key passes, taking set pieces as well. He's really good at, which we need. We need a set piece player at the club. He can defensively contribute, ball interceptions, likes to have a go from distance. So he is a CDM, but he's a deep lying playmaker, CDM midfielder. He'll sit back, spray the passes about. And you know what? I do you think we're a bit sentiment heavy with Alan Gomez? Although at the time of recording, the transfer window's still open, so you never know. They might go. Um, especially I'd prefer Alan to go because he's on big well I prefer them both but Alan is on big wages if we're not going to play him he needs to go um, I like Alan but if you're not going to play you need to go um, but yeah um, I think we, there is a position for him at the club I know people will say how many CDMs do we need we've got Gway we've got Onana he's a bit better at playing the ball um, which is something we do really need um, I like Onana uh, and I think he's all right at passing the ball, but I wouldn't say he's a, he's a playmaker. Uh, I like Gray, but he's not a playmaker. I think the closest we have to him is just going to be calm, collected, see the ball, see the pitch in front of him and spray the ball. He's Tom Davis, and potentially he's a bit better in that role than Tom Davis is. So, yeah, looking at his stats now for last, we'll do last season, um, which is in the championship. Um, he played 39 games, 3,601 minutes. Uh, he, weighed, he made 1.9 tackles per game, 1.4 interceptions per game, um, 1.2 dribbles per game, a 7 overall rating on who scored. And um, that is his defensive side. His offensive side, he got four goals, eight assists, um, which is quite impressive. 1.1 shots per game, two key passes a game. That's the big one for me because I can't name you now. Maybe maybe a Wobi currently, um, a player at Everton that's producing two clear uh, key passes a game. Everybody said, you know, creatively, we are creating a little bit, but we need to create a little bit more and we need a striker majorly. Um, so that massively comes in. Uh, 0.4 dribbles per game, which is here or there, uh, and he's only been dispossessed 0 0.5 times a game. Um, he also had bad controls per game, 1.1, so made one bad control per game. Again, I can name you a couple of Everton players who do a little bit more than that per game. Uh, the eight assists is massive. Av average passes a game is 34. His average pass completion, success completion, is 80.7. Uh, and the season before that, he was also coming out with that. At Watford, when he played 12 games there, he did. Um, he's not actually gone under in a full season. 80% um, pass completion, which is, again, I mean, he's not giving the ball away willy-nilly. Really important. He made 1.6 crosses per game last season, but again, I, I, he won't be in a position out wide. Uh, and 1.5 long balls, which is interesting, because I think that's a lot of what Everton... Um, um, looking at that, basically, guys, we're going to get a player who can just spray the ball. And like I said, key passes is vital. I can't name you a player that's a playmaker that's coming out with them. Maybe Alex Awobi is. Maybe Alex Awobi is um, under his current rejuvenation. Um, but the thing is with Awobi, he's just so energetic and so brilliant. You, you, you know, you're concentrating more on the fact that he just covers every blade of grass at the minute. He's really good. Um, yeah, I'd say... I know people are going to go another centre mid. We've got loads, but he provides something that our centre mids can't, and that is ball playing uh, capabilities. So 
now I expect I am a more open to this. Um, just having a quick look now, Alex Awobi this season, five games, has got two key passes a season. So it's Alex Awobi is producing about that um, this season. So him and Awobi um, would be interesting. I think what we do is we'd probably play Gway, Onana, Awobi, and then Garner would, or and if we play the five back, it'd be Gway and Awobi, Onana and Awobi. Maybe he's the sub for Awobi. At, at the time of recording, it is the day after the Leeds-Everton game and Frank Lampard didn't make a substitution. Now, whether that's a statement uh, towards, you know, we need players or he just doesn't trust the players he's got. Either way, it's a telltale sign we need more depth. Um, and the midfield, I feel like we could have made subs. I think Tom Davis was gassing a bit um, towards the end of that game. So we clearly need people he trusts, whether that and if that's James Garner, then brilliant. 15, 20 million. Uh, I don't know. I would say it's expensive, but when you hear the the you know that Fafan is a 70 million pound player, um, and Chelsea are just going out and burning money. Um and some of the other transfer fees being chucked around nowadays, I don't think it's outrageous. So yeah, I think he fills a hole. Uh, hopefully he comes and does really well. I'm surprised Nottingham Forest didn't push for him on a permanent as much. But, um, yeah, uh, he certainly fills a, a, a hole in the team, guys. He certainly has uh, offers something to the team, which is good. We need players that offer something, that we can tell offer something. Um, so, for me, interested to see him play in person. Interested to see him actually, you know, give him the eye test. I've looked at his stats, gave you a bit of a rundown on that. be nice to see him on the eye test. Um, but, yeah, that's James Garner to Everton. Welcome to Everton. All the best. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And if you have seen James Garner, comment down below your eye test. Are you excited for this? Uh, let me know all that good stuff. I look forward to reading and I'll see you guys very soon.